Who are you? I have a patient here who needs quiet bed rest. Please leave us be unless you have anything urgent to report. This is the residence of Zuria Destree, and I am Jala Khan, her family doctor. What did you mean by your question just now? Who else could be my patient? Your patient should be Zuria's son, right? She told us herself that her son had contracted loneliness syndrome. No, you're right. Young Master Lescaut did have that illness once upon a time, but he's... Well, the young master's no longer with us. And now, the Madame has come down with the same illness. Are you... her friends, by any chance? Oh... So, when she had requested time to go out over the past few days... ...it was so she could spend them with you. So, if I'm understanding this right... ...the one who's suffering from uncontrollable delusions is the Madame herself? She believes her son is still alive? That is correct. When the young master disappeared, she was organizing an art exhibit that she had specifically prepared for him. But since she had to leave the house, she was unable to see her son one last time. That might have been the trigger for her regret. Or perhaps the family's fall into loneliness and grief was inevitable as soon as the old master passed away. First the son, and then the mother. She really looked like she had a handle on everything. Her smile was so lovely, and she even told us to stay optimistic. But you're saying she... Those actions are proof that she can no longer differentiate between fantasy and reality. Then all the other things that she told us about her son, were those fake too? No, those were all real. Although... They were all things that happened before the young master left us for good. Madame's time has just never moved forward since his passing. I see. So after her son left, she created a fantasy world where her son was still with her. She was looking for a way to cure his illness when she ran into us. She has been in a good mood the past few days, even humming a song when she returned from her stroll. She even began discussing with me the idea of using deliberate guidance to ease the illness. It was all going well, until last night. She spent a whole night staring at the shell the young master left behind, and the words that he had inscribed onto it. Then she broke down once more. I prescribed some sedatives and... She's currently resting. But... but then what should we do? How can we help her? There has to be something we can do! Don't panic, Paimon. Even though this is a devastating piece of news, we must all calm down first. What should we do? I need to think. I need to remember the old house of the hearth, and the children who lived in it. Those patients, and what their doctors said back then. Hmm. Ah! Uh, what if... Dr. Jalakon, have you seen a picture book? The Madame should have brought it back with her. Hmm. Are you thinking about trying the guidance therapy she talked to me about before? Well, it's worth a shot. I'll go get the book. Yes, this is it. That's right. If what Dr. Jalakon said was true, the past few days have been very helpful to Zuria. So we should complete this journey. We need to show her that her child has found a happy ending in the world of her dreams. But... but wouldn't that just make it harder for her to accept reality? One must first face reality before accepting it. The Madame has been crushed by her feelings of grief and 
can no longer bring herself to face reality, our first priority would be to get her out of this state. Right. Before today, I had thought she wanted to use Thelxie's fantastic adventures to save her son. But now, I think she might need it to save herself. And if we could complete it, we should be able to give her some feeling of inspiration and closure. Maybe those feelings would be enough to give her some courage to face reality again. There's no time to waste. Let's set off right away.